Fish Whisper. Hi, my name is Amor Rodriguez, and this is Amor Rodriguez Survival. Welcome to my channel. Okay, guys, made it to Kentucky. Uh, it was uh, about a four hour and some drive, but look what I woke up, beautiful Kentucky. And with these guys, they call this guy Keith and Sean. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'm, Ke I'm Keith and he's Sean, yeah. And sometimes I'm Keith and he's Sean, depending sometimes. on what Facebook page you're following on the alone discussion groups. <laughs> uh, we haven't seen each other for a while. We've been all doing adventures, doing uh, doing our thing, and we get a few days to play around. So we just started the conversation. I'm really happy to see these guys. We have a lot to chat about. Uh, yeah. Glad, glad to be here, guys. Oh, awesome. Glad you, yeah, you came, as always. We're going to try not to cut any fingers off of ballistas or uh, <laughs> set anyone on fire. That is basically our goals for the weekend. So I always come here and get super inspired to go do the rest of the year out there. So I'm glad I came to report, to say hi, and to chit-chat about what we've been doing. So really glad that I'm going to bring you along. We might get into some rivet adventures. We'll see what we get into, I guess. Oh, we'll get into something for sure. We're getting into something. I want to shoot some fish. I want to. I want to get down and shoot the fish with the blowgun. That's gonna be yeah, the fishing probably should be up right high up in the list. I think we're thinking about. He's thinking about doing a blowgun fishing, so that'll be a different one. Haven't done it yet. Yeah, definitely interesting for sure. Cool. That'll be a first for me too. Cool. So let's start this adventure. Thank you guys for tuning in, and let's go for it. I guess it's the same way they we do it in El Salvador. They do it here in Kentucky. <laughs> gonna try the buff fish in here. That last one almost got it. Now we've got a free one. <laughs> 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 yeah, the arrow. It's pretty heavy, so it's flying. Yeah, it's too super heavy. Mm -hmm. Go away, Mom. Fish whisper. Yeah. Oh, it's gonna go away. Ow, that would hurt. All right, we shot like four dozen times. Finally confused one enough that it ran into Amos's arrow. <laughs> So uh, the way I usually do a gar, or as we're going to start calling them now, ditch lobsters, because it's better than ditch pickle. I just pop <laughs> the tail off. Then all you need then is a nail and a tree. Oh, that's a tool right there, man. I think a gut hook would work really well. Might. The only thing I can see using a gut hook for. Yeah, for real. Skin is so full. Yeah, they say that some Native Americans actually use this as armor. The skin. They skin them out, and they make really. You kill a big one, they make really cool quivers. Mm -hmm. Like case them out whole, and you yeah, sew I can it. See that. And just let it dry, and it makes a really interesting quiver. Yeah, that's some thick leather in there. Nice. Yeah, that's it. I mean, it's all white meat. Pretty small, but nice. at least we'll all get to see what it's like anyway. Mm. Really cool. Yeah. See, that's a female. 
There's an egg sack. Oh, yeah. Highly poisonous to eat those. Highly poisonous. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Crab oil. Yeah, uh, crab oil seasoning and that'll drop those gar fillets in there just enough to get them started to cook. We're gonna make like a uh, crab cake out of them. I let everybody get some since we didn't do very good with the old shooting situation. So we take the little fishy fillets and we put them in the crab bowl. <laughs> Bring that to a rolling boil at approximately 300 degrees. Just a rolling boy, whatever that is. <laughs> Let's swim around in there for a minute. Yum. It's uh, not as flaky as chicken or as fish. It's more of a chicken consistency for me. It's really gonna be spicy. Mm. It's a little little dense, mm -hmm. more dense. Wow. I eat that all day. Nothing wrong with that. No. Yum. <laughs> Is it hot? It's pretty warm. It's going to take care of like a scallop. Yes. Mm. It's almost scallop mm, like consistency. Scallop. That's, yep. that's accurate. Here, you got here, hang on me. Yummy. This is so good, man. About that, man. You would think that ugly fish would taste that good, would you? This is so good, man. Oh, that looks good. Wow, they cooked it up over here. Let me get, let me get a little shot of you. Like, <laughs> you can pour it right down through the middle of it. Yeah, man. look at that. Yum, yum, yum. Oh, that's perfect. Wow, that's, that's perfect. Yeah. So pretty. Yummy. Yeah, I mean. So that's uh, the Roosevelt elk I did last year. I, I brought a little bit to share with these guys. They've been so kind. Uh, hosting us as a family. The girls have been playing so much. So that's the... I feel like that's the good thing about trying to stay connected every now and then with the alone family created this really cool thing where we can even though this crazy world is out there like that we still check in every now and then and see how we're doing and to come and experience things that i never get to do and to have these guys host me this way it's just unbelievable look at the feast we have had This is really cool, this tree, this Osage is massive and all old trees like 20 feet across, it's over 400 years old, probably 450 years old he said when they came and tried to guess the tree but it's massive. So this is one of my favorite parts about coming to kids is dusting out the old bow and getting a few shots ready before hunting season. He's got a really cool uh, shooting course, target course out here. Uh, and look at that, we're teaching the next generation all about it. Mitch is gonna try her hand at shooting some targets. I got the, the hickory bow I made this year. I wanna 
tried this one for this hunting season and I've been testing it. I shot it a few hundred times, but I'm a bit rusty too. I wanna see if I can actually hit the target. These targets are not moving, but I get just as nervous when I get in front of them because I don't wanna fail the shot or lose my arrow. So it's a great way to keep the skills sharpened, your shooting skills. Uh, oh, but one of them is moving. One of them is moving. Yeah. Oh, oh, new surprise. One of the targets is moving now. Can't wait to see this course. We'll walk, al walk along and shoot some, some arrows at him and see if we can make the target afraid of me. Let's go check it. <laughs> we got him! <laughs> Pretty big Sasquatch here. <laughs> Broad heads, but I cut the tip of it. So it still gives me a lot of front weight. Plus, I got a little bit of weight to the front of this. And it's like, a, it's, I think this is a 54, 56 pound ball. It should be a proper room for it. I don't know if it's gonna fly right yet because I haven't completely done the thing. Oh, nice shot, dude. Got it right between the eyes. <laughs> Right above it. That's a good one. Right above it, man. I hit, I was on target, but no, no on target. I mean, <laughs> I was kind of in line, but okay. And that uh, that concludes the course over here. Really awesome. We got bacon. We got some uh, venison. Even a little sasquatch for dinner. <laughs> the targets are afraid of us, I think. Awesome visit with my friends over here. I'm already looking forward to making it back. Time to call the visit over, start driving home and continue working in the projects out there, working on the mead, the elk hoodie. They will start coming up in the pipeline. Thank you guys for tuning in, checking this little trip I did to Kentucky. Really awesome. 
beautiful beautiful place in here we'll go say goodbyes and get home see you guys in the next one <laughs> If you enjoyed this content and support videos like this, check out my Patreon here and my latest video here. Subscribe here. This content is brought to you by Fowler's Making Mischief Studios. You can check them out here.